all, look at you all. Give yourselves a big round of applause, everyone. I can't see the back. I can't see the back, but thank you for being here. Terima kasih kerana menghadiri malam ini sampai lewat-lewat panas-panas. Tadi pada waktu petang pun hujan, tapi kamu datang juga. This is people's power. This is kuasa rakyat. Rakyat bangkit untuk menyelamatkan Malaysia. Betul tak? Betul. Ladies and gentlemen, do you think we can win? Yes. Yeah. Louder. Yes. Yeah. Kita mesti. Yeah. Kita mesti. Yeah. Kita mesti. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, excellent. I love your spirit. There is no going back this time. Yes. There is no turning back. We have, yes, do or die. We have to go forward and forward and we are going to be voting on the 9th of May. Are you ready for that day? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Dodon and Puan Puan, to the voters of Kampung Tunku, I have been doing a lot of walkabouts. Now Kampung Tunku covers SS1, last time uh, SS1, SS3, Sungai Wei. Section 20, 21, 22, and then after the redelineation, selepas persempadanan semula, termasuk SS2 di sini. Malaysia boleh, SPR boleh, tak apa, rakyat boleh, betul tak? I want to thank all of you in Kampung Tengku for welcoming this young girl with open arms and open hearts. I am so humbled to have met you all and I am so excited to be hopefully given the chance to serve you all. Ladies and gentlemen, the ground is shaking. The ground is shaking and change is coming. You know, on one of the days, I went to visit the Koperasi Pegawai Pegawai uh, Kerajaan Malaysia uh, Berhad. So it is a Koperasi for retired civil servants. And the chair lady is a Datin, Hajar Rozia. Anyone knows who Sudirman is? The singer Sudirman, you know, the one who sings Balik Kampung Oh, Balik Kampung Balik Kampung to Mengundi, uh, ladies and gentlemen Yeah So he, that Datin is the sister of the late Sudirman And she was asking about my background, you know Oh, Miss Lim, where do you come from? And I said, Datin, sebenarnya ibu bapa saya juga menjawab awam And she said, oh Buat apa ya? So I said, Datin, my parents are teachers. My bapa was a pensyarah di Institut Peguruan Sungai Petani. And that he had a long career, termasuk being in Kota Baru. So he can speak Kelantanese also. Then she said, oh, okay. He said, Miss Lim, I want to tell you something. He said, I said, okay, tell me. He said, sebenarnya, saya ahli UMNO. Bukan saja itu, saya setia usaha cawangan amno bangsa. And I was like, oh, okay lah, okay. I mean, not surprising lah. A lot of civil servants belong to amno. Then she said to me, Miss Lim, I really like your keadilan badge. Can you give it to me? I want to wear it. Wah, yeah. I said. Serious lah, you really want to wear my keadilan badge lah? Yeah. I was thinking, say lor, say lor, say lor, she's serious lah. Then she said, no, Miss Lim, can you give me your badge now? And I said, okay, I will give you my badge and you wear it out to all your friends. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, the ground is shaking. Yes. The ground is shaking. Yes. And you can see that Najib and his friends are so afraid. Mereka begitu takut. Sampai kena buat begitu banyak tipu helah yeah. Macam persempadanan semula yeah. Macam anti-fake news law Macam buat hari mengundi pada hari Rabu yeah. Macam keluarkan Muka Tung Dr. M Daripada billboard yeah. 
Takut. Takut. Penakut. What kind of government is this that is afraid of his people? Ladies and gentlemen, we need a new government. Why not? We need a new government. I want to tell you a bit about my dreams for Malaysia. Our country may not be in the best state right now, but it is still our home. I try not to think of things as being too bad. I try to think that Malaysia can be so much better. Isn't that true, ladies and gentlemen? We have a beautiful country, right? Negara kita indah, pelbagai sumber asli, kecantikan, keindahan semula jadi. Hanya pemerintah teruk sikit lah. Sebab tu kita mesti ubah. Betul tak? Kita mesti ubah. Right? Kita mesti ubah. Kita mesti ubah. Ubah kepada siapa? Pakatan Harapan kan? Ini kali lah. Pakatan Harapan. We are not perfect. But I can assure you that we have been working, working very, very hard. For those of you who don't know where I came from, I started off as Tony Pua's political secretary and also an MBPJ councillor. And that was back in 2016. And I can tell you, ladies and gentlemen, ever since I joined the DAP, I have been one leg kick or yuck yuck tech side because we have been in elections mode for almost two years. We have been working the ground. I have followed Tony up down north south. Wait, up down north south the same or alamak? North, south, east, west, across the whole of Malaysia. We have gone to Felda areas. Actually, I remember ada satu masa kami pergi ke kawasan Felda Tersang di negeri Pahang dan saudara Tony Pua um, was supposed to meet some of the Felda settlers dengan saudara Isham Rais dan juga our saudari Kasturi Pato who is running for parliament in Batu Kawan di Pulau Pinang. I remember I was driving our saudara Tony there. And when we arrived, it was raining lightly, hujan renyai renyai. And we had the small cerama in a Felda settler's house. I think he was a DAP member. And out of the 17 people in the house, eight of them are DAP members. <laughs> the other thing was, we were told that the pihak penurusan of Felda Tersang told this member who was hosting us, Tuan, Encik, kamu tak boleh halakan speaker keluar macam ni. You kena halakan speaker ke dalam rumah. And you know why they do that? Because they are scared that the truth will get out. They are scared that the truth will get out. And they have done so many things to try to stop us. There was one time, I was supposed to go to Sabah with our saudara Tony. And Tony was supposed to launch some Impian Sabah projects, a gravity a pipe project that we did for the kampung people. And so we got onto the flight. We got off the flight and then we went to immigration. And then Tony was in front of me. And then waiting, waiting, waiting. Eh, still not passed. And then they said to Tony, In Chepua, can you come with us to the meeting room? And then they said, uh, Sorry, Mr. Tony Pua, you are going to be deported from Sabah. Ayo! So you know what happened to me? I had to go into Sabah by myself and carry videos of Tony Pua everywhere to talk to the kampung people. This is how scared they are that they can block Anyone they like, one man like Tony Pua from entering Sabah because they are so afraid of Malaysians knowing the truth. And if our government wants to hide things from us, we need to change that government. We want a government that is open with us. Right not, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I want a government that's open for all of us. I want a government that represents all of us. Democracy, like our Dr. Asmi Sharum said just now, it's not about voting every five years. Democracy is about you and me 
all of us here, and even unknown and members, it's also about them. I want to highlight the contribution of the volunteers here tonight. Semua sukarelawan kita yang telah bertungkus lumus untuk menganjurkan drama seperti ini. They are taking time off work. They are taking time off work. They are taking pay cuts. Some of them are getting sick because they are working too long hours over here. But they are here because they believe in the cause for better Malaysia. Kampung Tunku voters, I want to tell you briefly three things that I want to champion as your rep if you will let me go to the dune. The first, I will fight to expedite the resolution of the Selangor water problems. The Selangor state government has already started working on it. Those who live in Section 17 and Section 5 PJ have undergone pipe replacement already. The Selangor state government has identified 84 hotspots all across Selangor, but we need to review which are done and which to be tackled. I have a lot of residents who are senior citizens, water disruptions and inconvenience to them. So, if I were to be your rep, I will be fighting to resolve this problem as soon as possible, as best as we can. The second thing I'll be fighting for is tackling urban poverty. Petaling Jaya, I feel it's a wonderful city, right? It's a city of economic migrants. My own Sako, Hokkien Langa, my own Sako came here 20 years ago. A young lady who was a cashier at the bank. She worked her way up to become a head in one of the departments in OCBC. And I can tell you all, Petaling Jaya, you have treated all of us economic migrants very well. But this also means I have a lot of work to do because Kampung Tugu on the SPR records has 48,000 voters but then because it is home to so many who don't vote here I probably have a lot of residents to take care of and amidst all these numbers some people fall through the cracks and we want to make sure that no family goes hungry Right, no child get left, gets uh, no child gets left behind. Right not. No mother is forced to come home to an empty cupboard without food for her kids. That is what I want to fight for, ladies and gentlemen. That no one, no Selangorian, no one in Selangor be left behind. The third thing I'll fight for is the continued empowerment of youth and women. Ladies and gentlemen, I always feel so thankful and humble to be part of Pakatan Harapan because Pakatan Harapan, kita kan janji-janji kosong apabila kita bercakap tentang memperkasakan anak muda dan wanita. Yours truly is an example standing here tonight. But the reason why we put young leaders Bukan sebab kita nak nampakkan barisan calon yang cantik dan fresh face dan jambu dan sebagainya But because we believe in training the next generation of leaders We want our young people to learn from the, the spirit and the resilience of our senior leaders Such as our saudara Lim Kit Siang and more importantly Saudara Anwar Ibrahim who started the reformasi movement and with the change of government, a change into a Pakatan Harapan government, we will release Anwar Ibrahim from Sungai Bulo. Can we do that ladies and gentlemen? Pakatan! 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 Yes, we can do it! Ladies and gentlemen, sometimes you read on Utusan, on Berita Harian, and they say, Pembangkang tidak cintakan Malaysia. I tell you, Utusan, that's not true. Tidak benar sama sekali. 
Why we want to change the government? Because we want a better Malaysia. Yeah. This is our country. This is our home. Yeah. This is where we were born. Yeah. This is where we have our children. Yeah. Where we fell in love. I know a lot of PJ residents probably went dating at the A&W near Taman Jaya, right? Ah, so many. Can I see how many happy couples came from A and A and W? Wow, quite a lot. Look at that. Look at how wonderful PJ is. Look at how wonderful Selangor and Malaysia is. This is our country. Some of us here may have friends or family that still support UMNO, MCA, Gerakan, MIC, dan sebagainya. I need you all to tell them that the good old days of UMNO, the good old days of Parisan National are over. UMNO yang dulu bukan lagi UMNO hari ini. Dulu orang masuk UMNO atau MCA sebab nak memperjuangkan hak bangsa, agama, negara. Sekarang, orang masuk Barisan Nasional sebab nak jadi kaya macam Jolo, betul tak? Tuan-tuan dan puan-puan. Oh. Barisan Nasional of before that fought for independence is now the new colonial master. Like our doctor Asmi said, they are lording over us. They are trying to put us in a circle and make us afraid of them to the extent that a 76-year-old man spreading a message on WhatsApp can get caught by the police. This is not the government we want, ladies and gentlemen. So if we really love our country, we need to kick this government out. And ladies and gentlemen, to those who are really, really afraid of changing to a Pakatan Harapan government, maybe for race religions, uh, sorry, race reasons, or maybe for religious reasons. I want to share with you what my comrade from Amanah, Nick Omar, the son of the late top guru, Nick Aziz, said. He said, untuk pilihan raya ini, kita bukan pilih agama kita pilih pasukan yang terbaik untuk mentadbir Malaysia and ladies and gentlemen I believe in this general election Pakatan Harapan is the best team to mentadbir Malaysia are you ready to bring us there?